for approval. And the National Single Window has a workflow in it that's, uh, that uh, monitors where it is in the system, so an agency will be informed that there's an application for them to look at. The agency has a workflow, part of the National Single Window workflow, that goes through for approval. Once it's approved, that's the end of the process. It's tagged as NS uh, NSW approved program, and it is now available for POC for customs to view when any importations come in. So the idea is no electronic permit, no import. And that's, uh, that's what's been, that part has been implemented now. So customs will not allow any importation or, or exportation without the appropriate documentation. So summary, um, but those transaction counts I mentioned before, the system is being accepted very well. Imagine uh, when we first started, we talked about 30, 40 agencies all working together, all sharing information, all implementing in one system. It seemed a, a rather large job, but uh, all the agencies have come to see how beneficial this is for them, and every agency is uh, very positive and we are very well implemented. So the system is being well accepted well by the agencies and also the trades. Positive improvements already have been seen. Paperless transactions are now a reality. So, I mentioned before, agencies can return traders to go there. They can actually even pay for these things for repayment facility. Uh, so, there's no real need for them to go to the agency anymore. Paperless transactions are now a reality in several of the agencies. Other agencies still need their. Uh, their uh, memorandum agreements to be signed so that they can uh, facilitate the full paperless office. Fake permits will soon be a thing of the past. The big problem now in customs where, where uh, uh, some scrupulous uh, traders will bring in photocopies of, of uh, permits or licenses, used ones that they've done before, now it's no longer as a thing of the past. Progressively, as I said, traders are no longer being allowed into the office next week. Let's show a few statistics. They're not all the offices are the agencies are involved. We use some of the uh, stats. Agency down the left hand side, target release time is something that the agencies have agreed that's the, their target for releasing, releasing uh, approved applications. Before, that's what before and now is what happened under, under NSW. You'll see the colors in orange are improving but not quite there to the release time. The ones in green, they've already matched the uh, release time target. So you can see there are some, some before seven days down to three days, ten days down to either three or four, uh, seven days down to two, 10 days down to 4 with a target to get to 3. Next one, please. Here's another set of uh, slides for different uh, bureaus. Again, you'll see 5 days down to 2, 15, FBA fertilizer, pesticide authority, 15 days down to 2 days, 3 to 1. So you see vast improvements that we have reported already. So this is much uh, much better for the agencies because they don't have to take so much time to uh, process this, but most importantly also is the uh, trader, trader community now are enjoying the benefits of not waiting three or four weeks in order to get, uh, to get things done. Just bear in mind, some of these agencies, but some of these permits you have to go to two or three agencies, uh, uh, some of these inputs you have to go to two or, two or three agencies, so you can multiply some of these times by two or three. So it's really, really a great improvement. That's where we are with phase one. That was completed in October 2010, and up until now, um, the system is in support and maintenance mode. That ends in October 2012. So we're close to the end of the support and maintenance of the system. Remember, I said to you that there was a, a mention of phase two before. Phase two is. Uh, is uh, defined as, and there's a terms of reference being put together for phase two. Phase two is defined to include uh, Azure single window 
blueprint showing all ASEAN countries having a national single window, and, and uh, this is part of the phase two system, so that the NSW of the Philippines can now link to ASW. If you if you imagine the ten major the ten member countries of ASEAN all having a single window, all doing a similar sort of job related to trade, and then sending information to each other, it would cut down a lot more on paperwork time and, and uh, transportation, all sorts of all sorts of trade costs. This is the ultimate aim for the ASEAN single window. There will be an ASEAN single window which will facilitate the interconnection of all the countries in Estonia. That timeline for testing for the uh, Philippines for ASEAN single window is 2000. Just see that term. It's 2012 in October this year. So we're coming very, very close to that. That cannot be done until the phase two uh, 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 terms of reference is approved and issued though. So phase two is about ASEAN. Next please. It's also about some other things. Enhancements will be configuring the trader portal to have a lot more information in it in terms of it can have single submissions. So there will be an application form that a, a, a trader will uh, input. That data will be kept in the form, the skeleton form of the, uh, the declaration. Manifest will be taken in. So the system will actually build up a complete set of documentation from the data it's, it's receiving. So single submission of uh, import and export declaration applications through to declarations, through to clearances, is now a thing of reality in phase two. Also, um, trade industry um, requested to have a national, they have a program for a national trade repository. This will be the same as it will go into the national single window. This will be so that the, uh, the Philippines can have more um, visibility uh, of trade programs and also monitoring more uh, importantly on free trade agreements and their performances. Also in phase two there will be Philippine business accreditation different to business registry. This is sometimes when you look some of the agencies in the, in the 40 of the list you, uh, and the trader will have to register with that agency to be able to do business. There is an accreditation process for that trader or his company to go through, and that's held at the moment within the agency. In phase two, that will be part of this, uh, that will be part of the system too. Also in phase two, there will be rationalization of uh, trade data. Uh, we mentioned before, one of the presenters before talked about uh, the different types of, uh, you know, we have uh, US uh, dates, and we have English dates, and we have what formats we have, and this is exactly the same that will happen here. This is a rationalization, simplification of data. If you have uh, a date of arrival, it's the same as date of embark disembarkation. If you have it, it's the same as date of unloading. But they're all three dates are very similar. This will be a simplification of data phase two. So a big program for phase two. Next please. The stasis of phase two is this. There's a procurement. Um, it was planned to start after phase one, which was 2010. The terms of reference has been uh, being completed at the moment and uh, phase two has now been given to the um, Department of Budget, I believe, uh, procurement service. So they're looking at that now. Uh, they're having continued discussions, as I understand, with the Bureau of Customs, and the target date to finish is before the end of September. End of September being the end of the uh, National Single Window Phase 1. So really, the, the, the point of this is that the, uh, the success of the NSW Phase 1 is uh, well known throughout the world. In, in uh, ASEAN, they always refer to the Philippines as being very well advanced. It wasn't so long ago that we were talking about being second or third. 